Hi, in this video, we'll be working on connecting our tiny motor driver, the TB6612 FNG with our two motors and the Jetson Nano. We'll also start with the Python code to control the motors via motor driver using Nano's GPIO. Let's first look at the pins of our motor driver TB6612 FNG. Starting from the rightmost pin, VM is the voltage for motor. Hence, we'll connect the positive terminal from the battery pack from motor to this pin. VCC is voltage common collector, which is to power the motor driver itself. We can power it from Nano's 5 volt pin. G and E is the ground pin, which can be connected to Nano's ground pin or G and E pin. Now, A01 and A02 pins connect to one of the motors. Let's label our first motor as motor A and B01 and B02 pins connect to motor B. Moving to the left, we have PWMA, which is the PWM pin for motor A. PWM is pulse width modulation using which we can control the rotational speed of motor A. This pin connects to a PWM pin on Jetson Nano's GPIO header. AIN2 and AIN1 are input pins which determine the rotational direction of motor A clockwise or anti-clockwise. Setting one of the pins to high and other to low determines the direction. If both the pins are a high, motor doesn't rotate in any direction. STBY is the standby pin which when low stops the motor acts as a brake. This pin needs to be high to drive the motor. If we don't plan to use the brakes, we can connect it directly to 5 volt pin in nano. BIN1, BIN2 pins are input pins for motor B, which determines the direction. PWMB is to define the speed of motor B. Again, GND is ground pin, which can be connected to the ground of battery, which powers motor. Let me show you the connections first. This is how we need to connect the dri motor driver pins to Nano's header pins. To write the Python code, I'll be using VS Code, which is Visual Studio Code. VS Code has this cool feature to connect to a remote project using SSH. You just need to download and install the extension Remote SSH. Once installed, you can go to View, Command Palette, and search SSH and connect to your remote system with SSH. I'll be connecting to my Jetson Nano. You can either connect your Nano to your Wi-Fi and use that IP address to connect or you can connect the USB cable and use the L4TBR0 interfaces IP address which should be 192.168.55.1. Once we log into our Nano, let's create a new directory, uh, maybe robot. We'll create another directory, mark1 within the robot directory. Uh, we might also need a directory for utils, so I'll also be creating a directory for utils which can add all the utils functions modules that we'll create. Let me add a new file main.py which will have the main code for our mark1 robot. Within the utils directory, we will create a python code for motor. Let's name it motor.py. We will use this util to control the motor driver. Let's start with our first code, motor.py. Let me open IPython in terminal as well so that we can try out some experiments in the IPython terminal. At first, we need to import Nano's GPIO module. Import jetson.gpio as GPIO. So here I am importing the Jetson GPIO and we'll be referring it in our code as GPIO. Thereafter, We'll have to call the setMode function and the setup function. 
though we won't be uh, doing the set mode in this code we can do it in our main code i'll be creating a class motor let's also define the constructor for this class here self is referring to as the current object it's similar to the this keyword in java we'll accept three additional arguments as well pwm pin to set and update the speed forward pin and backward pin uh, to define the direction of the motor we'll assign this variable to our object instance variable as well so that we can use it in our uh, code in different functions the next thing that we'll do is configure these pins we'll set these pins as output pins and initialize them gpio dot setup in a list we can provide all the pins so i'll be providing self dot forward pin comma self dot backward pin comma gpio dot out for output pin and initial value is gpio dot low next we'll configure the pwm pins self dot pwm equals to gpio dot pwm self dot pwm pin and the frequency is 50. let's start a pwm with duty cycle 0. next we'll need functions to update the speed and set the motor directions let's do that def set direction and I'll take an argument direction. Okay, I missed out to import Jetson uh, dot GPIO. Let me do that first. Uh, let me also create two constants forward and backward. This would be used uh, for uh, the direction logic. Okay, moving to the function. If direction is equal equal to forward, then we need to make the forward pin high and the backward pin low. Uh, let me also copy this code and paste it in the else part and reverse it. Uh, in the else part, uh, we'll have the forward pin as low and the backward pin will be high so that the motor moves backward. Next, let's define the function uh, to set the speed. Just as a precautionary step, I'll limit, uh, limit the values to be between 0 and 100 because uh, maybe by mistake I can pass in a value like 1000 and it won't be valid we cannot directly set the duty cycle to that particular value uh, let me also define two more co constants for the minimum speed accepted and the maximum speed accepted okay so here's the logic uh, to limit the values uh, between the range of 0 and 100 let me explain this uh, in case of a value like minus 10 in this logic minimum of minus 10 and the maximum speed will be the, the output will be minus 10 of course and thereafter maximum of 0 and minus 10 would be 0 uh, hence we have controlled the value to be in the range of 0 and 100 okay next we change the duty cycle of pwm pin to update the speed of the motor so now we can create an instance of this motor class to control any motor hence two objects of this class will help us control both the motors of our robot with the api's set direction to control the rotational direction of each motor and set speed to control the rotational speed of each motor now let us work on our main code i would like to execute this uh, main code using some kind of a command line which uh, with with additional uh, options so that it i can switch between ai mode and wi-fi controller mode uh, uh, at first we'll enable controlling the robot using uh, a Wi-Fi controller app we don't need a class here but just a main function uh, 
if underscore underscore name underscore underscore equal equal to double quote open underscore underscore main underscore underscore double quotes close colon uh, in the next line I I'll call the main function here before defining the main function I also need to pass arguments provided uh, in, in the command line uh, in Python we have this uh, module called arg parse which helps us to create a parser which can pass all the arguments provided uh, via the command line uh, let me now add some arguments first would be control type uh, to define the control type of the robot uh, we can add choices for um, AI and uh, Wi-Fi controller let me keep the default value as Wi-Fi controller uh, you can also provide a help message this will be shown when you execute this code with hyphen h argument something like uh, python main.py hyphen h or hyphen hyphen help we'll add other arguments as and when required uh, let me uh, enclose all the code within a try except block so that we can handle any exceptions that might be raised hmm. we'll, we'll set the mode gpio dot uh, set mode gpio dot bold actually nano supports multiple pin naming conventions we can use the bca mode to name the gpio pins as that of raspberry pi but we'll be using board config uh, when we use board uh, board config the the pin names are like these if we use bcm then the pin config is this one for the raspberry pi i'm aware of the pins that are connected uh, which i had showed in this video earlier let me add the pins that are being used uh, motor b backward pin is 16 motor b forward pin is 18 Mot motor b pwm pin will be 32 let me copy the above for motor A as well. Motor A backward pin is 24. Motor A forward pin is 26. Motor A PWM pin will be 33. Now I need to use our motor class. Um, before that, uh, let me import GPIO and our uh, motor utility as well. Uh, also to make a module we need uh, underscore underscore init underscore underscore dot py inside the util directly uh, sorry util directory uh, otherwise we won't be able to import uh, like this let's make the instance for motor a with pwm pin forward and backward pin let's copy the same for motor b as well with its pins uh, let's check if uh, everything is working fine uh, motor a dot set direction forward motor b dot set direction forward okay uh, import time so that uh, I can add a delay of one second once I set the speed so that uh, at least the motor moves for at, at least one second. Motor A dot set speed 30, motor B dot set speed 30, time dot sleep 1 which it, it will sleep for around one uh, second uh, then probably will make the motor speed to 0, motor A dot speed 0, motor B dot set speed 0. Let me also add uh, the traceback in case any exception is raised and in the finally in the finally part we'll do some cleanup activities let me uh, initialize the instances uh, motor a and motor b as none uh, okay uh, let's check if motor a is not none then we'll stop the pwm pin for motor a and clean up the GPIOs. Uh, the same thing goes for motor B as well. 
okay let's try to run this uh, with the command line okay uh, hmm. nothing happened actually i think i might have made some mistake in the coding okay i think i figured out the issue it, it should be underscore underscore name underscore underscore without double quotes okay let's try once again and great it's working now anyways in the next part of this video we'll complete this code so that it works with a wi-fi controller mobile app thank you